Hello, my name is Greg Fulton and I play guitar. I actually play many guitars. There's this one, there's this one, there's this one, this one, and they're all very different and that's what we're here to talk about today. I teach classes and in private instruction at Seattle Pacific University as well as the Seattle Waldorf School here in, well, Seattle. Um, I love guitar. There's nothing not to love about the guitar. The amazing thing about this instrument is that it's probably one of the most diverse instruments you can ever find. It is portable. It is associated with so many different styles of music. It doesn't necessarily show up in the orchestra, however. Rarely does the guitar an orchestral instrument. Although it does happen from time to time. I got to play Mahler's Seven Symphony because in that symphony there's guitar. That was super fun. Um, I'm going to start with this one. All of these guitars are similarly built. Um, and all of them have similar names, but also very diverse names. This one is probably the oldest style of guitar. It's referred to as a nylon string guitar, cleverly because these strings are made out of nylon. Um, on this instrument, you'll hear people play classical music very frequently. However, that doesn't mean you have to play classical music on it. You can play jazz on it. It's a guitar. You can play anything you want, really. It doesn't really matter. These titles are just sort of classifications to distinguish between this and that. So like I said, this one is often associated with classical music. It might sound something like this. Right? It has that sort of beautiful sound to it. Sometimes it's referred to as the Spanish guitar because it sounds Spanish-y, I guess. Don't know. But again, you can play other styles of music on it. You can play jazz. Play Brazilian music, maybe. Oftentimes played with the hands. With the right hand here, you can get so many different sounds out of this instrument. So if I play a melody here, maybe. If I can play that same melody here, it's going to sound really different. Check it out. So many different ways you can play this instrument, get so many different sounds out of it. So cool. And that's mainly because of the nylon strings here. Also notice it has a flat top. And that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, let's move on to another one. So this is also an acoustic guitar. That's an acoustic guitar. This is an acoustic guitar. It's got a giant body. It doesn't need any help to make noise. Listen. Um, but the difference mainly here is that this instrument has steel strings. And when people say acoustic guitar, this is pretty much what they think of, an acoustic guitar that has steel strings. Um, it became really popular in America at the turn of the 19th century, early 20th century, because steel strings are more durable. Um, you can ship a guitar across the country. They're, still, they're not going to break. And the other cool thing about it is it's typically a little louder. Now, why is louder good? Well, it took off in America because musicians in America were often playing in larger ensembles, guitar players included. And if you're playing in some sort of early jazz band and there's wind players or horn players, it, they get loud. So do drums. And so instruments demanded something a bit louder. The steel strings caught on in America for that very reason. You can play all sorts of things and keep up with the volume of the rest of the band. Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to narrow down really how this guitar is associated stylistically because you're going to hear it in folk music, you're going to hear it in bluegrass, you're going to hear it in rock. So, you know, right? Something, a country sound. You may hear some sort of finger style. You'll also hear people play jazz on it. It's a really diverse instrument as well. Um, it's also got a flat top, sometimes referred to as a flat top box, and it is the quintessential instrument to have. Um, let's move on to another acoustic instrument. This is also a steel string acoustic instrument. Eh, it gets a little confusing. We have steel strings here. It's got a resonating box. But notice the difference here. It doesn't have a sound hole. Instead, it has F holes here, and notice that the top is arched, oftentimes referred to as an arch top. In fact, the construction of this instrument is closer to like a cello. You can see it's got the F holes here. And this instrument is awesome. It has a different sound because of the way it's built. It has more of this sound to it. Right? 
very punchy. It uh, was designed mainly, again, for jazz bands in the early days for a guitar to cut through a horn section. Um, and probably because of that, it's often referred to as a jazz guitar. Now, again, you don't have to play jazz on one of these. It's a guitar. Play what you want to play. I mean, anything's going to sound really good. Well, maybe not that. That sounds nice. The other fun thing about this instrument is that, um, unlike these, this one has seven strings because I really wanted a low note. I wanted that low note. I wanted to finally play lower than the cellos do, and I win on this one. Boom. So it has seven strings, which allows a, a greater range. There we go. Um, and that's basically the sound of that, often associated with jazz. Uh, the other cool thing about this instrument is now we're bridging the gap into the electric world. This instrument can be sound really good without an amplifier, but it also has what's called a pickup. That's right here, and this takes the sound of the strings and sends it out to an amplifier, which I'm now going to demonstrate. So, now, it sounds good acoustically still. Now I'm going to turn it up, and we're gonna hear it come out of the amp. You can tell how the, the sound changes a lot. A little warmer, maybe. type of instrument uh, oftentimes was fitted with a pickup, again, just to be louder, to be heard in other ensembles. Um, but it's still acoustic, it's still got a box. Here's where it gets really fun. So here we have what most people would refer to as an electric guitar. But it's also important to remember that this is also an electric guitar. This one, however, is a solid body. It has no resonating chamber, and if you were to play it without plugging it in, all you're going to get is that. And that's just not going to cut it but it wasn't designed to do that. It was specifically designed to always be played through an amplifier. Now, that's so why I play here. There's the sound of it. The fun, thing about, the fun thing about this one is, unlike this instrument, which had one pickup, this guitar has two pickups. It has a pickup situated right here on these strings and right here under the strings here. And what that does is allow the guitar to have different tonal qualities. So if I use only this pickup, it's going to sound like this. Okay, it's very dark, very warm, right? Very mysterious, perhaps. Now, if I use this pickup, it's going to sound brighter. Maybe not so dark and not so mysterious, but kind of... Right? So there's that sound. I can also take these two pickups and mix them by selecting both, and we get a different sound altogether. So if we run through these sounds, we have this pickup. We have the two pickups together. The strings always sound different depending on where you pluck them. So if I were to pluck these strings here, it has that sound. If I were to pluck these strings back here, it has that sound. So these pickups are designed to pick up that very specific tonal quality that comes from here. Now, that brings up the amplifier, because amplifiers and guitars grew up together. Oftentimes, a guitar manufacturer would also build an amp and say, you have this guitar, buy this amp, because we've designed them to work perfectly together. And they did, and amplifier and manufacturers thought this is enough, but we're guitar players, we, we like playing loud. And at some point, someone took an amplifier like this, which is constructed with power tubes, and thought, I wanna turn this all the way up and see what this sounds like. And you could probably say maybe rock and roll or maybe at least blues was born by doing something as simple as taking an amp that was only designed to be played at this volume and somewhat rebelliously turning the volume all the way up and getting something like this. So, in this sense, the solid body electric guitar especially is somewhat married to the amplifier. The two go together because the combination of the two helps create different sounds and has created, again, a wide variety of styles of music from just blues to jazz to heavy metal to pop music. It's, it's an instrument that is simply everywhere. So I'm hoping that the understanding of the difference between these two might help you decide which one you like the best. Again, don't let the style of guitar 
the shape of the guitar tell you what to play. It's a guitar. Play whatever you want on it. I can play classical music on this too. Whoa, that's loud. If I play classical music, it might sound something like this. Right? That's a classical piece of music. It sounds lovely on this instrument. Okay, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.